Hey, what's up guys? Derek Allen here and in this video I just want to show you another site that you can use to rank high in Google for your chosen keyword. And the reason I've decided to make another video is because from my last one where I showed you how to use Facebook pages to rank high in Google for your keywords, a lot of people actually went out and took action on that and are seeing great results and I've gotten a ton of positive feedback from that. So I've decided to share another site with you since I have so many of them that I wanna share with you. Um, it couldn't hurt, right? So let's go ahead and get into this. So the site that I wanna show you today is slideshare.net. And it's a company that used to be a standalone deal, their own thing, and then LinkedIn came in and bought them, which gives them even more authority that you can piggyback off of to rank your stuff in Google. Okay, so go to SlideShare, create an account, and then once you've done that, go to Upload. Okay, now on this screen, you're probably wondering, well, what do I upload? Well, you can upload videos here. You can upload, obviously, keynote or PowerPoint presentations, you can upload PDFs, different things like that. I recommend you upload a PDF. But what are you going to put in that PDF is probably what you're wondering, your next question, right? So what you're going to want to do is open up a new document or a new pages page if you're a Mac user and you're going to want to write about a 500 word piece of content. Now this content has to be really good and it has to be related to whatever it is that you're promoting because you're gonna have a keyword for a product or for something that you want to rank for and you're gonna want to write about that pretty simple right so in that 500 word um, PDF you want to make it really solid content okay no no junk don't do it just for the sake of stuffing your keywords in um, and you want to make the piece of content that you write um, sort of persuasive like obviously you want to have your main keyword in there any other kind of keywords you wouldn't mind ranking for for long tail any kind of related keywords you want all of that in your piece of content okay and you also want live links in your content with a call to action telling people to click something because through these slides people can actually scroll through and click on links that are in the image or that are in the PDFs okay or the slides so by making those links clickable, you want those to go through your affiliate link and then to the product sales page for whatever it is that you're selling. Okay, that's the content that you want. Then you want to save that as a PDF so you can come back here and upload this. So next thing you're going to want to do once you get that content is you're going to want to select select files to upload. We'll just upload something that my wife has here for school. And um, then you're going to want to optimize the title. So obviously you're gonna want like your main keyword and then you want to work your main keyword again okay work it in here somehow again like um, free main keyword to help you do something okay so a lot of people who do YouTube optimization know what I'm talking about when I say work your main keyword in here twice okay so while that's uploading we want to put in a description so in your description you can have a link right you can put it in there just like that and then for the rest of your description obviously like writing a YouTube description you want your main keyword worked in the front some somehow and then you want to fill the rest of this description up with different uh, related keywords and LSI keywords anything else that makes it super trigger happy for Google to see this as a meta description and then want to rank it for what you want it ranked for so you want to fill this box up with as much content as it will allow you and for SlideShare you don't want to fill this in with the content that is contained in your main PDF because they already kind of transcribe that for you so you can just kind of work all this in and just make sure you know it's a pretty decent description all right and it's focused towards what you want to rank for all right and then we want to choose the appropriate category obviously we want this public and then we want keyword one keyword two keyword three or variations of your main keyword and basically you want to keep doing this until this little line right here goes all the way to the end so just let me copy this and we 
we'll just paste a bunch of that in there. Okay, so it turned green, we're all good. That's our discoverability score. The more this is filled in, the better somebody has a chance at finding your content. Now once you're done, just click publish. Okay, and that's it. Now what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna scroll down here. And what you'll notice is the links aren't actually live. So it's like trying to post a link within like a YouTube comment or something. Um, as a call to action, you could put something on before this first link that says copy and paste this link in your browser for more information or something like that. And then you can start to work in your main keywords. And we want all of this filled in as much as possible so that we give the best description, right? And remember how I said this would transcribe your content? If we look down here, this is where it happens. So this is why it's important that you make sure that the content in your, your PDF that you upload is keyword optimized because this is gonna be the main thing that's gonna get you ranked right here. Okay, and another thing I forgot to mention though, it's kind of important, is um, you can't act, while you can have live links in your PDFs, you can't have a live link within the first three slides of your presentation here on SlideShare. But anything after that, you can have live clickable links. Okay, so that's kind of an important thing. So make sure that you know your your document that you upload is long enough to have three slides so that on the fourth one you can have that call to action and your live link um, other than that you do this and then you get some backlinks pointing back to the URL that you just uploaded so you would go to something like um, my presentations and then you click on the presentation that's yours and then you'd copy that link you'd obviously want to ping it even though some people say that that doesn't matter, it's just a habit of mine. I like to do it, it doesn't hurt. And then you go out and you start to build some backlinks with your software or whatever else you have. And after you've completed that, you should start to see your slide share um, indexed in Google and start moving up the SERPs. So if you do this combined with the Facebook method that we taught before, then you should at least be able to get two URLs ranked on the first page of Google uh, for your given keyword depending on how hard that keyword is to rank so for products like in the internet marketing space that come out every day maybe you want to jump on some of those a week ahead of time and then you know rank a Facebook page rank a slide share URL and have those sitting there so that when the product does go live your links will be sitting on the first page of Google for that product keyword you should have at least two okay so if you like this be on the lookout because I'm gonna be releasing some training that has like 30 something sites that you can take advantage of just like this one to post your content so that you don't have to worry about setting up your own hosting or setting up you know your own site and having to do all that tedious SEO and have to wait months and months for your content to actually rank on the first page of Google for the keyword that you want this training is going to show you how to take advantage of these sites and their authority and their trust and their love that Google already has for these sites so that you can put your content on there, move up the SERPs, and rank for some really, really awesome keywords. And the best part about it is it doesn't cost you any money. And you don't have to sit and fool around with SEO and worry about the next update that Google's going to make. And you can get your affiliate links on the first page of Google so that people can come see your content, click your links, and then you make commissions. All right? But there's a whole lot more that we're going to be talking about inside the training. Just stay tuned for that. Watch your email. I'll be sending out something really soon. I'm sure you're going to love it. So thanks for watching this video, and you have a great day.